If you are here, you're probably dreaming about starting your very own drone mapping business in the UK, but maybe you're a bit worried about the cost. I'm here to show you how it's not only possible, but absolutely achievable to start this exciting journey on a budget. Let's break the myth that you need a fortune to start a drone business. So what's all the fuss about drone mapping? Drone mapping is reshaping the workflow in different industries like construction, land surveying, agriculture, and industrial inspections by collecting data faster, safer, and more cost-effective. What's the best part? With some smart choices and a bit of hassle, you can open your drone business or integrate drone mapping in existing business in no time. I know what you're thinking. Stefan, isn't the drone tech super expensive? Well, it's not as pricey as it used to be. Costs have come down and the options have gone up we're living in a time where technology is more accessible than ever. I'm talking about quality drones and software that won't require you to sell a kidney. It's all about being resourceful and knowing where to look. Here's a secret. It's not just about the money you spend, it's about how you spend it. Planning is everything. Before you dive in, you need a clear plan. What's your target market? What services will you offer? How will you differentiate yourself? Remember, a good plan today is better than a perfect plan tomorrow. Be smart, be strategic, and most important, be ready to adapt. All right, let's talk about drones. Now the key here is balance. Finding that sweet spot between affordability and reliability. You don't need the latest and the most expensive model to start. Look for drones that offer you the essentials. Good camera quality, stable flight, and reliable GPS. I will tell you a secret. Sometimes, last year's model or refurbished drones can be just as good, but at a fraction of the cost. It's all about getting the best bang for your buck. In my opinion, both the DJI Mini 2 and DJI Mini 3 Pro serve as excellent choices for those looking to dive into drone mapping. They offer a balance of professional grade features and user-friendly interfaces, making them suitable for both entry level users and experienced professionals. Let me tell you another one. All the drone professionals that you see flying a very expensive drone on their social media have a DJI Mini drone in their fleet. Both the DJI Mini 2 and the DJI Mini 3 Pro have carved a niche in the drone mapping industry due to their unique blend of features. They are praised for their lightweight design with both drones weighing less than 250 grams. This makes them not only easy portable, but also accepts them from certain UK drone regulation applicable to heavier models. The key features beneficial for mapping are high quality cameras. The Mini 2 has a 12 megapixel camera capable of 4K video, while the Mini 3 Pro has a 48 megapixel camera offering 4K at 60 frames per second video. This high resolution imaging is crucial for detailed and accurate mapping. Both drones offer extended flight times up to 31 minutes for the Mini 2 and 34 minutes for the Mini 3 Pro, allowing for extensive area coverage in a single flight. Another drone that I would recommend is the DJI Air 2S. Regarding its mapping ability, the DJI Air 2S is one inch sensor camera capable of capturing 20 megapixel photos and 5.4K videos. This high resolution imaging is crucial for creating detailed, accurate ortho photos and 3D models. With a long battery life and large coverage area, it reduces the time and number of flights needed to capture the data. Now, who says everything has to be brand new? There's a world of perfectly good second-hand drones out there waiting for a second chance. Buying used equipment can significantly cut your cost. But remember, it's crucial to buy from trusted sources and check the equipment thoroughly. A good deal is only good if the drone doesn't fail you on your first flight. The DJI Phantom 4 Pro has been a benchmark in the drone mapping world. Known for its 1 inch, 20 megapixel sensor, mechanical shutter, and precise GPS, it's a model that offers high quality imaging essential for detail mapping. 
even as a second-hand model, the Phantom 4 Pro stands strong in performance, making it a top choice for aerial serving and fleet mapping. For those who require a more compact solution without sacrificing quality, the DJI Mavic Pro is a solid contender. Its portability makes it ideal for field work, and its 12 megapixel camera and 4K video capability provides excellent data for mapping projects. A used Mavic Pro can be a great entry point for beginners in the drone mapping. For those seeking professional grade capabilities, the DJI Inspire 2 remains a top tier choice, even second hand. With options for different cameras like the Zenmus X7, it offers exceptional image quality and versatility for various mapping needs. While pricier than other models, its robust build and advanced features justify the investment for serious mappers. When purchasing a second-hand drone, consider factors like the drone's condition, battery health, and availability for spare parts. Always buy from trusty sources, and if possible, test the drone before completing the purchase. Apart from the drone itself, you'll need some additional gear. This includes spare batteries, trust me, you don't want to run out of juice mid-session. Then, a quality charger, some spare propellers, it may be a repair kit. And let's not forget a sturdy carrying case to protect your brand new equipment. It's about being prepared for every scenario without overstocking on unnecessary gadgets. The primary function of drone mapping and photogrammetry software is to process aerial images captured by drones to create maps and 3D models. For those on tight budget, there are several accessible options. WebODM is free, user-friendly application that allows users to process drone imagery into 3D and 2D maps. MapPilot Pro is a very affordable, sophisticated drone mapping software designed to facilitate automated flight planning and data collection for aerial mapping and surveying. QGIS is a free, open-source geographic information system GIS, software that can be augmented with plugins for drone image processing. First off, to operate drones commercially in the UK, you need to be certified. Think of it as your license to fly. But here's the good news. You don't need to spend a lot of money to get this. There are plenty of affordable, even free training options available. It's all about finding the right fit for you and your budget. Anyone responsible for a drone or model aircraft with a camera weighing between 250 grams and 20 kilograms needs to be registered with the CAA and display their operator ID. The price is around 10 pounds per year at this moment. Flyer needs to pass an online theory test to get a flyer ID, which is a testament to their understanding of a UK drone laws on their drone. The test is free and after passing, you can fly drones in the A1, A3 open category. The A2 certificate of competence is applicable to drones weighing less than two kilograms and allows pilots to fly in the A2 close to people subcategory of the open category under CA regulations. Course prices start from 99 pounds. The GVC allows pilots to operate in scenarios that are more complex than those permitted under the open category, such as flying in congested areas or closer to uninvolved people, subject to risk assessments and CA approval. The course prices start from £400. Commercial drone operators are required by law to have liability insurance to cover any damage or injury their drone might cause. The prices can start from £10 per month. Knowing your legal requirements for drone operation in the UK is super important. You can find all of this info on the CAA website. Sure, it's not the most thrilling read, but it's crucial to keep your drone business above board. There are loads of resources online, from YouTube tutorials to drone forums and webinars. 
there are fantastic ways to learn the basic and often they are completely free. Also, look out for community workshops and local drone groups. Not only these are great for learning, but they are also a perfect opportunity to network and share experience with fellow drone enthusiasts. My parting advice, start where you are, use what you have and do what you can. It's okay to start small. Every big business once started as a dream. Don't let budget limitations stop you. Let them inspire you to be more careful and resourceful. Remember, the most successful businesses are not always the ones that start with the most money, but the ones that start with passion and perseverance.